Okay, so now we have the yoke taken out. We pulled the uh, woodruff key out of there. there. There's the slot there. This is actually the woodruff key that sits right inside there. All right, and once that's pushed back in, that's what puts the uh, yoke back down on the on the way. So now we have the, the, sh the this is still turning. All right, this is being held in on the other side. So we're going to turn it around. Now we can't get to the caliper uh, screw that uh, bolts that hold the rotor on. So we're going to turn this thing around. We're going to turn this thing around. Um, I actually, I think what we ought to do, I think what we need to do is put this in the vise is what I think. Let's turn this thing around. Let's turn this thing around and we'll put it right here in this vise so that we have a better way of controlling it. So we'll turn this over here. I have a Wilton vise here that makes things a lot easier. All right, so we're gonna put that right in there like that. There we go. All right, so now I already took the other screws out. We're gonna go ahead and take the last two screws out. I'm using a Milwaukee impact wrench here. So we'll go ahead and take those out. There's one. There's two. Take that out and that out. And then we can, this will just lift right out. This is going to lift right out. Let me get this out of the way. And uh, here's the shaft. This is the shaft right here. There's an O-ring around the outer ring here. There's a rubber O-ring there. And then here's the nut. Here's the nut that's holding the other side on. So we're going to go ahead and set this aside. We're then going to go ahead. Now they put where they tighten this down. All right. This is the adjustment. You can't go too tight because then you'll grind the bearing. Uh, there's little tabs here. Uh, this one here and then there's one here. These need to be taken and pried out. Let me see. I'm trying to get this out for you. This needs to be pried out so that it'll clear wow they really pounded them in there didn't they I hate to break the screwdriver in there a little bit more than this one there you go. Okay, so we have those separated. So now we are able to take, we got to unscrew the nut now, just like this. Here you go. This is in there. They didn't cram this down because they don't want to screw the bearing in it or nothing. Huh? This just unscrews just like this. So this nut comes off. Here's a big washer, which I got to get a pair of channel locks to get that out. Now we're just going to use these vice grips just enough to grab it Gotta move this out of the way a little bit almost just like that there's your ring so it's gonna go, it's gonna go big nut. It's gonna go to that washer. Here's your bearing.
Just like that, there's your bearing. And then we could just go ahead and lift the hub off as such. Oh, maybe not. Is there a washer down there? Nope, we gotta just go ahead and lift this up. Turn it around. Let's turn this around. There you go. Go ahead and this is gonna pull right out of here just like that. Look at that. Look at that. And there we go. We have our screws here. We have our shaft here. That's screwed onto there with those uh, Allen wrench screws. So we can set this aside. And then we have our bearing right here. There's our spacer. That's not coming out until we take the rotor off. Yeah, that's, that's really bound down in there. Looks like the bearing separated. Yeah, we have to take it from the other side. Okay, so there it is. Uh, we also have our sockets here that are going to remove those. Let me see. I think it's nine sixteenths. <laughs> Isn't this something? Oh. Wow, they really put these on there. I don't know. There it is. This is a uh, nine sixteenths, and that is too big. I'll try this. Seven sixteenths. And that would be it. 7 16 12 point socket. You need that for that. And then we can go ahead and remove that all apart. So there it is. We're going to take that caliper off of there. Or the rotor. I, know, I keep saying caliper. We're going to take that rotor off. And we're going to get things going.